Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. My name is Yamisi and today I want to show you how to make this pan fried potatoes. These are Irish potatoes and I featured this recipe in a vlog a few weeks back. I got a lot of requests to film this recipe but I couldn't film it because one, I didn't have potatoes and I hadn't gone out for like my isolation shopping and two, I was trying to develop the recipe so that you will really like it. So today I have the final developed recipe and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button. It encourages me. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join the family. I upload recipes all the time. For the ingredients, we have bell pepper. This is also known as tatashe. I'm also going to use an onion. This is tomato paste. So all I have here is just tomatoes, pepper, and onion blended and boiled to reduce. And then we have the star of the show, which is Irish potatoes. I'm starting off by peeling the potatoes with a potato peeler. And after peeling the potatoes, we're just going to chop them into big chunks. Because they are pan grilled, you want a large surface area. So just watch what I'm doing. If you don't have Irish potato, you can try using sweet potatoes. I've used them a long time ago, but not exactly for this recipe, but just something similar. And it was delicious. I feel like potatoes are so underrated. There's so much we can do with potatoes when it comes to Nigerian cooking. So I realized in Nigeria, we only use potatoes for like maybe porridge or chips. After that, you leave potato alone. But potatoes can be used for so many things and I cannot wait to explore and show you guys what I've been using potatoes for. Do you use potatoes in a lot of your cooking? I want to know. And I feel like one of the reasons we don't really use a lot of potatoes, especially Irish potatoes, is because sometimes they can be pretty expensive. They are not exactly the cheapest. So people would rather buy yam than buy potatoes. But I'm telling you today, you need to give potatoes a try. If you're tired of rice and swallow and you're always like, oh, Nigerian food is boring, there's not a lot of options, you need to open your heart to <laughs> potatoes and the magic you can make in Nigerian cuisine. Now that I've finished doing promo for potatoes, it's not like potatoes sent me a message. <laughs> now that I've finished, we're going to wash the potatoes and put them in a pot. I already have water boiling, so I'm going to add the boiling water to the pots just so that everything cooks quickly. I'm adding some salt and then I'll cover and allow to cook. While it is cooking, we will face the pepper. For the bell peppers, I'm just going to deseed them, just remove the seeds. What I've been doing with bell pepper seeds lately, or just pepper seeds, is I've been putting it in my backyard. There was a time I shared on Twitter my backyard and I had peppers that were grown and I was so proud of myself. So I tried to plant these pepper seeds, especially if you've not put them in the fridge. For the onion, I'm peeling off the skin and I'll cut it into big chunks. You can cut it into little chunks but I just thought it was more visually appealing if you cut it into bigger sizes. Once the potatoes are cooked, 
I'll just drain it and then set aside. You don't want it to be too soft because if it is too soft, it's not going to hold its form, you know, when you're pan frying it. So you need it to just be about tender. I'm adding some vegetable oil to a pan and I'm just going to add the onion first. So I'm going to fry the pepper and the onion first before the potato. And that's because onion and pepper, they have such a lovely flavor that I want to transfer to the potato. So I'm frying it first. Frying the onion and the pepper does take a while. You have to keep constantly stirring it so that it does not burn. And you know it is cooked when the pepper has become soft. I like mine to become soft, not as hard as it is originally. And then there's this aroma you begin to perceive when it is cooked. I don't know if you know it, but once you are cooking, just put your open your nose. <laughs> your nose you perceive it you know that oh this something is smelling sweet right now so that's how you know it's cooked once i'm done frying the onion and bell pepper i'll start off with the potatoes so i just added a bit more oil and then transferring the potato to the pan i want each part of this potato to be coated or just fried crisp do you understand you're gonna see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I just want each section to be browned. It's going to make this very, very yummy. You can actually put this in the oven, but I want this to be pan fried. This is how mine looks like, and it tastes so good, just even at this stage. Once the potatoes are cooked in the same pan, I'm just going to fry the pepper sauce. So I'm just putting like a spoon of pepper sauce and just frying it till it is cooked. I'm seasoning this pepper sauce with all-purpose seasoning. So it has like thyme, oregano, salt, basil. So it just has a bunch of ingredients. So it's going to give a nice flavor to the recipe and then now I'm adding the pepper and just mixing everything together. Once it's cooked, taste it, then add the potatoes and allow everything to just cook together. You just have to stir fry at this point. So you just keep mixing till it's well incorporated. I wish you guys could actually taste what this was like. It was way, way better than all the versions I've been doing before. And in the previous version, I was using green pepper, but I really don't think you need green pepper for this recipe. I just used the red bell peppers and it was so, so, lovely just look at how beautiful these pan fried potatoes look like like i said you can try with sweet potatoes i haven't tried this exact recipe with sweet potatoes but it just might work I always see your tags on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So if you try this recipe, please tag me. I really want to see. And if you love the recipes, share with your friends. I mean, please be generous. Share where you're getting recipes from so that it helps my channel. Click the like button on this video. And if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, why are you doing this to yourself? Just click that subscribe button. There are recipes flowing on this channel week after week and you don't want to miss out. I'll see you in my next recipe video or in my next video. Take care. Bye.